Hi, it's me again with the Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is going to be about the Distort tool. I've never really played around with it, but I have used it a couple times to make some weird shapes, and as you can see, real quickly, I made these seven shapes. I mean, real quick. And uh, it's real easy. It's kind of fun to play with. So I'm going to make one of these shapes just real quick using the star as a, a starting base. I held down my control button to get a, a symmetrical star and your your distort tool is underneath your fly out. It'll be looking like that and you go to distort. When you go to distort, you have a bunch of presets. You'll have different push and pull, zipper, or twister. And we're going to click on twister. Let's zoom in here. And I'm going to show you how fast you could draw a shape like one of these real easily so not only if you never use the distort tool you might just for this reason grab it and just kind of move just a little bit you don't have to move very much now i'm going to convert it to a curve so i can move away some of these nodes and make it a little more smoothly i'm going to get rid of that node and it doesn't really matter and you could change it up from there and make it quite a bit different then to make that shape let's zoom in here again I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of it. I'm going to double click on that cross and I'm going to move my rotation to that. Now I'm going to rotate it by 45. Control D, control D, control D, control D. And now we're equal. Now I'm going to take and select it all and I'm going to weld it together. So you just drew that shape in under 30 seconds. Now, it's a weird flower, maybe, and, and one thing you could do, and I might even make another video about how you could clone the first one, and then you could change it up to make it look like yours, and you could take away these center parts. And the other thing I did, let's get rid of these, let's break the curve apart, and let's try to grab just the outside, and we did. We'll get rid of these insides, we'll hit delete, We'll move this back to the center of the page. Then I'm going to go to Effects, Contour, and I'm going to contour it. Let's go 0.2 of an inch. Then you take your Smart Fill tool. Let's zoom in a little bit. Take your Smart Fill tool and just fill in that edge. How long would it take you to draw that? Now, I'm not going to say you're ever going to draw that, but how about taking your Rectangle tool, Let's make it a square. And this time, let's go to distort, and we're going to pick this one. Push and pull. See what you get? You get different effects. Now, we're going to go back to a preset called push corners. And automatically, it's going to make you a pretty nice four-leaf clover. And each one of these is an individual uh, cell on its own, so you can smart fill it and then move them away if you want it or so if you use the nudge factor like I always do let's set the nudge factor on five inches let's move this out of the way now let's grab our hairline and just delete it and then move this back there you have a four inch clover that's going to engrave and there's a lot of things you can do with this anyway I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching